170, 171, 172, hey, what are you 173, doing? I'm counting, bro. 174, <laughs> 175, 166, 176, 157, 177, 135. Dude, are, are you, why are you making me mess up now? Are you literally counting these this one by one? It's the third time I've done it today. <laughs> guys, don't do this. Chances are you guys are getting products shipped to your house in big boxes with a lot of quantities. And if you have a couple of products, it's okay to count by hand. So it's all right, dude, I know. But this is like a couple hundred that are coming in. So the best way to do it, I'm going to actually share with you guys, is a really cool method. And if you're a new visitor to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below and turn on those post notifications as well as download your free resources. But in this video, the goal is to not only show you guys how you can actually track your inventory and better sell online, we're gonna be diving into ways to make products from home and actually establishing your business from your home-based operations. So I highly encourage that you guys subscribe to the channel as we continue to expand on a from home series. Now, the first step is not to count one by one if you guys are getting your products in boxed in like this, because it could take hours and you can mess up if your brother comes in like I did. All so, right, show us, Jesus, all right. come on. So what I'm about to show you guys is a really cool method. What you do is you want to just get them all into a nice box like this. Oh. And if some fall, just, just put them back in. Just all put right. them back in. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what you want to do to start off in counting your products is you want to take one product and you want to weigh it. Put it on a scale such as the one that we have right here, which is called the Smart Way. It's linked down in the descriptions down below. You can pick this up at Walmart or Amazon or any big retailer. The goal is for you to weigh the single individual product that you have. And then what you want to do is you want to take the weight of your box without any products inside and weigh that on the scale as well. Now that you have the weight of your single product as well as the empty box, you'll fill up the entire box with the products that you received and then you'll place it on the scale once again. Now this will give you the total amount of weight that's inside of the box, including the box. So the next step is to subtract the weight of the box and that'll give you the total amount of weight of the products. Now we encourage that you do it either in ounces or grams, but if your product weighs a lot more then pounds is okay. Now the next step is for you to divide the total amount of weight of the products with the single amount of weight of your own product and that'll give you the total quantities inside of the box. So if this was a little confusing for you, we're actually gonna show you a real life scenario and example with what we have right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our face mask. We weighed it and we found out it weighs 42 grams. Now this is for one pack. Now what we'll do is we'll weigh the box with the mask, which will give us a total weight of 14,040 grams. 14,040 grams is what this box weighs right here. Now we're gonna subtract the 1,700 grams that we started with, with the empty box, and that'll give us a weight of 12,340 grams of just the mass inside. Now we'll divide that by 42 grams, which was a single weight of a mask, and that'll give us 293 packs that are inside of this box. So now that you guys know exactly how many units you have coming in, the next step that you guys need to get into the habit of is actually keeping track of important information about every single product that you're selling. You don't wanna just go off on a whim and write it down on a piece of paper. You wanna track this into an Excel sheet or into a Google Docs, which we'll show you guys right now, some very important information that you need to include and have saved. Once you know that the quantities of each product are correct, you want to properly track what you receive. A great way to do this is to note down the product details in an Excel sheet, which can then be easily referred to when you're actually operating your business. Now the key components that you need to have in your Excel sheet include how much things weigh, the dimensions of the product, and if you're shipping in bulk, how big the boxes you'll be shipping in and how many fit inside of them. You'll also want to allocate SKU numbers and barcodes to each style, which is easily done through Shopify or manually by creating style numbers on yourself and adding them to an Excel sheet like this. You can do this for multiple products. Another key component that you might want to consider is your cost of goods sold as well as your MSRP to be able to track your profit margin with each product that you're selling as well as your gross margin associated with those sales. Now, we actually dove into a portion of this in a Shopify tutorial, which we'll link right up above, as well as in the description down below. It's a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial to help you establish some of this information, such as getting your SKUs and your cost of goods sold and all of that stuff. We also dive into how to connect a custom store domain. Dot Store is a sponsor of this video, and they allow you to quickly and easily 
get an affordable .store domain name which will help you sell online. So before you guys settle on a .net because your .com domain is taken, we encourage you to check out the .store website and reserve a domain name that will help you promote your e-commerce brand. Rest assured that dot .store extensions are being used by major brands such as Christian Ronaldo, Billboard, Kindle, Airlines, PewDiePie, and many more which are actively using the extension to sell their branded products. You can get started by using John at checkout to reserve your domain name and for a limited time, this discount will allow you to purchase a dot .store extension for $1.99 for a one-year plan or a three-year service for $22.99, which typically retails at $87. You're welcome. Oh, hey. All right, so yeah, as you can see here, we have some mailing supplies for you guys to show you some hacks in regards to acquiring things like this. So obviously, I'm not sponsored by USPS, but you can get all of this for free. Yes, you can get all of these mailing supplies for free. And how you do that is by just making a USPS account. But you can also do it through stamps.com, simply just by going on the shop. And then you can obviously order all this to your location. Obviously you can see all these ship shipping supplies that we have here. And it's pretty amazing, especially when it comes to free stuff. You can get your stuff out and not have to worry about at least packaging. And the second hack to shipping your products out is by buying your shipping labels, your postage through stamps.com or through shopify.com. Reason being is if you go to a retail location down the street, you're near 7-Eleven or whatnot, you're gonna be paying retail prices. But if you do it through stamps or through Shopify, most of the time you're gonna be paying wholesale prices depending on what kind of account you have. We use stamps, best shipping method for us. It syncs through Shopify. They're actually partners now, so it's pretty cool how everything just syncs right through. You hit print, boom, you're ready to go. Now, if you guys don't wanna go the free option with packaging, or perhaps you wanna elevate your brand's packages that you send out, a great method and a great tool to use and to consider is poly mailers that are bubble lined, which allow it to protect it from the weather. If you guys know you're gonna be shipping like one or two items at a time, just find a dimension that work best because this allows you to keep your product price points down when it comes to shipping. Now you guys could quickly personalize it by ordering a stack of stickers and labels that you could put to the outside of the packaging. Or you guys could also use some like cool little printer like this if you guys are shipping out some big boxes. You might have noticed he's writing on himself earlier. Um, how this works is you essentially just push and print, which is kind of cool if you guys want to personalize boxes or other small packages that you get out. So there's different ways that you guys can personalize stuff. Uh, get creative with it because that really does elevate your guys' brand's experience when somebody gets a package. Um, What's actually kind of cool is that as we were filming this video, we had some orders come in. So we're actually gonna package it right now, which brings us into the next step of the process, and that's in printing off your labels and actually shipping it. So how do you fulfill orders? All right, so now we're in the fulfillment process. As John was saying, we're gonna show you guys exactly how we fulfill things, the way we've, we've been doing it for a long time, and showing you some of the products that we use. So we've had this trusty Dymo 4XL printer for years, print out shipping labels like this, really fast. And we use stamps.com, like I was saying earlier, for, as our prior, uh, primary shipping uh, logistics partner. So I'm gonna show you right now how simple it is. Uh, we have two orders pending that we just got right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just literally just hit print. Simple as that. We got our labels. Now, moving forward, obviously, both of these packages require 24 uh, face masks. So we'll grab them. Three, six, nine, 12, <laughs> 15, 18, 21, 24. See? Manual counting works, Johnny. All right, and then we'll go ahead and just close this up. We're using priority mail. Especially right now during this time of the recording of this video, um, USPS is going really slow. So you gotta make sure you get fast shipping out to your customers. And this is why it's important to know your dimensions, know the weight of your products. That way you get the best pricing on shipping. And then we'll go ahead and just slap that on there. And what we like to do here too as well is to let our people know in our community where it's coming from. And then just for this video, no regrets. There you go. So my one lucky uh, buyer is gonna see this probably hopefully. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's the way that we've been shipping things out for quite a long time. You can use literally any laptop. This thing's pretty slow, but it still works for printing out stuff like this. 
And uh, the Dymo label is pretty cool because you can also, if you don't obviously want to buy a printer like this, a handheld one, you can also just print out little labels and uh, you can slap them on your packages to add a little extra touch. Now, if you guys are sitting at home right now wondering, okay, thanks for helping me actually figure out how to ship and fulfill my products from home, but maybe you're still wanting to know how to get products, well, we're gonna dive into that right now. One way of getting products is by buying directly from wholesalers. Now, wholesalers such as Bella Canvas will sell you blank garments such as t-shirts and joggers and sweaters and hoodies, and you can actually personalize those at home yourself and then sell them as your brand or sell them as a service. Now, the thing about wholesalers is that you do have to register your company and have your business paperwork legit in order for them to sell directly to you, um, which we actually have a couple video series that we'll link in the description if you guys wanna know how to do that. Now, luckily for you guys, if you're itching to get started with some products, we actually have a retail site, an e-commerce site, that's a part of this channel called streetwearapparel.com. And in it, we sell products such as face masks, such as the ones that we're fulfilling, um, which allow you to quickly and easily brand your product any way that you want and resell it as your brand or sell it as a service to companies or services in your area. Now, you may be wondering, okay, what tools can I use? How can I actually accomplish this? Well, there is a couple of different ways that you guys can do this. The first is if you have a couple thousand dollars, is you could start with a direct-to-garment printer. You could budget between 10 to 20,000 in order to get a direct-to-garment printer, so you do have to have some money to start. But if you are starting on a budget, the next best thing is a heat press, such as this one that we have linked in the descriptions down below. Now, a heat press allows you to do a lot of different things to garments or other products that could fit under it. Um, such as a t-shirt, you could vinyl print whatever designs you want, cut it out, print it directly on a t-shirt, ship it out. There's also ways that you can get full color prints by actually ordering them online in bulk, which allow you to stock up on your best selling designs that you could then literally print on demand as orders are coming in. You're using this pretty inexpensive tool that will make you and generate you money. Uh, there is a learning curve to getting this done though, and we have created some videos on it, so I highly encourage that you check out the videos associated with that, which will be linked up above as well as in the description down below. So you guys can see everything that's involved with creating products from home. So there you have it guys, I hope this video helps you establish your online e-commerce business. Again, this is a very small portion of what we offer in the From the Ground Up Academy. So if you guys are interested, I highly encourage that you download your free training and resources that we have linked down below in the description. And I also encourage that you guys consider joining the full master course for entire access to a step-by-step -step program that we created. Huge shout outs once again to our sponsor, Get.Store. Remember, you don't have to settle for a .net when a .store domain is up for grabs by using John at checkout. I got you. Also, make sure that you guys follow us on Instagram to keep us in the loop of your brand's journey as we'd like to feature the brands that are part of this community throughout our channel, throughout Instagram. And today's featured brands are Maintain Optimistic Beliefs, which is owned by a member of the Ground Up Academy. He is a young and talented designer that is spreading a positive message through his brand. Satori Revolution, a brand owned by two sisters who are manufacturing their own sustainable swimwear while employing family and friends. And finally, Gush Apparel, who took the dive into starting a print-on-demand business and is growing year over year. Now, I welcome you guys to check out the brands that we just mentioned through the links in the description as well as on our Instagram. I look forward to hearing about your brand's progress. Now, before we end this video, I want to leave you guys off with a message I recently heard that really hit close to home and I thought I'd share with you. And that is, stop comparing yourself to others. What this means is that everybody's on a different journey in life. Some people have literally been running their business for decades, while some people are just getting started, and you may be somewhere in between. Nonetheless, you can't compare yourself to their situation because they might have started with money while you are literally building it and making it on your own. At the end of the day, we're all in our own timeline and your journey is gonna be very unique. So you can't compare yourself to other people and what you see on social media. The only person that you should be comparing yourself to is who you were yesterday. So the ultimate question to you right now is, are you doing better? Are you doing worse? Or are you the same? I'll see you guys on the next one.